Hello student, today we are going to see conductance SI unit and dimensional formula. Conductance is inversely proportional to resistance. Resistance already we know it is uh, ohms. Okay, so 1 by ohms we can take it as uh, ohm inverse. From denominator if you are taken as a numerator we will get as a ohm inverse. Okay, so now we are going to discuss what is a SI unit of conductance. Okay, ohm inverse. So 1 ohm inverse we can take it as a uh, resistance is equal to V by I. So here it is a ohm inverse. So V by I, I is ampere. Okay, we can take it as ampere. So V inverse A inverse. So V inverse A inverse. Okay, what is V? V is a voltage. Voltage is a work done by charge. Okay, so work done by charge. We can take it as a joule per coulombs. It is a inverse divided by A inverse. What is joules? Joules is a energy unit. Energy is equal to force into displacement. So Newton meter. Okay. So, we can take it as a joules is a Newton meter divided by coulombs, okay. So, this whole inverse into 1 divided by ampere inverse, okay. Now, so Newton separately you can take it as a inverse, okay. Coulombs we can take it inverse, meter we can take it inverse, okay. So, Newton inverse, meter inverse, okay, uh, divided by coulombs inverse into 1 divided by ampere inverse, okay now what is newton newton is a force si unit force is equal to kg meter second minus 2 because force is equal to mass into acceleration so kg meter second minus 2 in its inverse meter inverse okay divided by coulombs inverse ampere inverse now this inverse i am taken inside okay so kg inverse meter inverse second i am taken inverse it became as a plus 2 meter inverse divided by coulombs inverse ampere inverse okay now coulombs we i am going to convert into the ampere okay how we can take it coulombs as ampere because current is equal to charge by time so charge is equal to current into time charge is equal to current into time so we can take it as the one coulombs is equal to one ampere into one second okay so coulombs we can take it as ampere into second so from denominator we are going to take it as a kg inverse meter inverse second plus 2 meter minus 1 divided by coulombs inverse we can take it as a ampere inverse second inverse ampere inverse again okay so now see here meter inverse meter inverse meter minus 2 so kg minus 1 meter minus 2 second uh, plus 2 ampere inverse ampere inverse ampere minus 2 if you are taken as a numerator ampere plus 2 second if you are taken numerator second plus 1 okay so now kg inverse meter minus 2 second